Hey guys, it's Free Tip Friday. I'm gonna get detailed. It's Free Tip Friday. Let's see what I'm doing here. Is I'm, I've got walnut pegs that have pegged this mortise and tenon joint, square pegs. And I'm faceting the tops just so that they sit proud a little bit. See about an eighth of an inch up. I'm pretty new to this. Not woodworking, but uh, doing this little faceting trick. Damn it, where'd my sandpaper go? <sighs> yeah, but one second it just disappears. There it is. Okay. So the way that I have had the most success with this is to cut my pegs off see my pegs are a bit high here I'll cut them off at an eighth of an inch strong eighth of an inch while we're sitting here why don't I just show you you know wouldn't that be the best solution so some methods show that you can use a chisel and like a putty knife and then you use the putty knife so that your chisel doesn't mark the wood and you kind of use your chisel like a fulcrum and pry off the wood. Now this works, but I find it's not quite as accurate as cutting your pegs to height first. And I find it's hard to get a smooth face. It kind of goes up and down and gets almost a scalloped, a stepped look. If you try and pare the edge like this, you're always going to tear off that back edge, especially with walnut because it's so dry. So I've been having a little success just using the file to kind of get the facets started. And you see how I use my fingers here, resting on the thing so that my file doesn't scratch the face of the wood. I'm kind of using my, holding it like a guide and sliding back and forth, keeps everything parallel. I find if you just rough it, is this shaking the camera a little bit? Yeah, sorry. If you kind of get your faces rough shaped, get them started this way. Once you have them started, um, I've been having the most luck with a low angle carving chisel. And you can kind of come a bit on an angle, skew it a little bit. And once you get close and you get a good face going, you, you can just shave off layers, get that right down to the the base of the peg right there. And then once you do one face, just flip it around to the other side. And don't safety troll this video and be like, you should never cut towards yourself. You're gonna stick a chisel in your back. Oh, shut up. Okay. If you're worried about sticking a chisel in your neck, man, you should not be woodworking. Yeah, I'll be special kind of stupid. Have that kind of coordination. Now that I got those two faces done. You know, it's easier on the side because you have this leverage and you can kind of pull up when you're on the corner, but these faces where you're, you don't have any leverage along the board, you kind of just gotta... You gotta ride that little pre-made face there. It's a bit tricky. Now 
And this one's tricky because you got this other one, but you can actually use that. as a pivot. So you just start by taking little tiny shavings and you just work your way down. See I'm leveraging off the top of this peg here. And you don't have to get it like right to the base but kind of go as close as you can and then start working your triangles into symmetry. that you have a straight line, right? Right to the center. Yes, honey? Are you done yet? My wife actually doesn't sound like that. So you can see this is not a quick and easy process, but it looks so good when it's done. And at this point you can you can go across the grain and not worry about doing too much damage as long as you're just just a little. When you're done it looks like that. Got, oh, it just feels so nice on the hand. Just a little bit proud, gives it a nice depth. So much better than just sanding it flush. Remember guys, take pride in your work. It's the way of the samurai. Check this out. Guess what showed up in the mail, guys? Straight from YouTube headquarters. The Samurai Carpenter's silver play button. See my face reflected in that shiny silver? I doubt it's actually silver, but wouldn't that be nice? So, whoa, let's drop it on the ground and break it. Where should I hang this beast? It's actually pretty small. Find a place for it, you know, put it up on the wall there, somewhere in the middle. Anyways, it's legit. 100,000 subs. I'm a big deal now. But you already knew that. Come on, you can't tell me that doesn't give you that warm feeling down in your loins, you know what I'm saying? So that was your tip. All right, just an FYI for all the guys um, that were looking for the new Sawhorse plans. Uh, if you signed up for the original plans and gave your email and you're on our email list, um, we already sent out the new plans to everybody. So you check your junk mailbox if it's not in your in-mail box, inbox. And you'll see an email from the Samurai Carpenter and it'll have the new plans available for download in the email. So if you want those new plans, check your spam or whatever folders and you should find it. Other than that, other than that, oh, it's worse than literally. How's that for joinery? More like bonery. Catch you next time, Samurai. Oh.